Hey guys, Ken here, Backpacking Light, and uh, today I just wanted to go through some of the gear I was using in my hike through Gran Canaria, maybe you saw the movie, and uh, basically I was there for six days total, but hiking about three and a half days, and total up and down of about 4,000 meters up and 4,000 meters descent, and uh, just wanted to go through some of the equipment I had, the starting weight without water, but with food and gas and everything was pretty exact six kilos and I'll start with the backpack itself this is the new Sodic pack uh, this is prototype number two and it's pretty close to production now I think the next model I release will be the the production model as I was able to work out some of the kinks that I was a little unsure of on the prototype itself and this is a 62 to 65 liter pack and then uh, an extra several liters on the outside, probably about 10 liters uh, on the outside itself. Um, has an aluminum frame in here and it's got load lifters and a nice robust hip belt. For the most part I was very happy with the backpack, felt really good on my body. So the pack felt really good. Um, no complaints on it at all, just some small details that I want to work out like on this version, for example, I made the hip belt so I can take it out because I wasn't really sure what kind of hip belt I wanted. But I'm very happy with the hip belt that I landed on. And uh, so this will be built in instead of being removable. And that'll just give a lot more, a lot sturdier base uh, for the backpack to be on. And it also decreased the overall weight. Uh, the pockets need to be rearranged a little bit uh, for the production model. The, and there needs to be another buckle here, for example. But other than that, the small details, I'm very happy with the backpack itself. The one item that I always bring with me, but always when I'm about to leave uh, on a trip, I always doubt whether I should bring it or not. And then when I do bring it, it's always the same result that I'm very happy that I brought it. And that's my little thin light pad that gets a lot of use on my trips and uh, it was really dirty spilt coffee on it and lots of dirt just washed it off when I got back to the hotel worked just fine trekking poles this time around I decided to use the fees on revolution pro and uh, I usually use the compact but I have to say that this is definitely the one I'll be using moving forward uh, just a lot how do you say a lot more comfortable to use it uses both a lock so that's perfect for when you're you have your tent setting up your tent and then it also has the lower section which is the twist and it comes with extra poles and locking mechanisms but what i really liked about these poles was how they fit in my hand and i can show that here maybe you can see it in the video as well but once that's in there it's not going anywhere and it's a very comfortable fit and the pole just feels very stable when using it and it was needed on a lot of those steep climbs and declines I use these poles uh, quite a bit actually and I used it to set up my tent which was the tarp tent Aeon Lee yeah, so I'll go ahead and work my way into the main compartment here some of the other gear I was using along the trail as always Packing pod. This is the uh, Sodic Gear 12 liter packing pod, which I find to be an excellent size for pretty much everything. So I actually use two of them. One of them, this one, I use for my food, snacks, coffee, and even the actual kitchen set that I have with me. The kitchen set that I brought with me on this trail was the Tokes 700 milliliter pot. And as always, I brought the uh, Soda Windmaster, which is in here somewhere. So that's the packing pod. You see I have all the food in there. Now the funny thing is, I actually brought food for about a week. And I did that just because I wanted the extra weight in there. Uh, I wanted to really put the backpack through its paces. The Tarp Tent Aeon Lee. Now it's always a mix, you know, it's always a toss up if I'm going to use the Aeon Lee or if I'm going to use the Sodic Gear Pyramid. 
the biggest issue with the Sodic Gear Pyramid is that it's quite massive. The the amount of floor space it requires is about twice that of the footprint of the Aeon Lee. And uh, being that it's Grand Canaria, I hadn't hiked there before, I was a little unsure if I'd be able to find big enough tent places. Um, of course, now being there, I can say that yes, there's big enough tent spots for a pyramid shelter. But I don't regret bringing the A on Lee. It's always a fantastic tent, nice and roomy, light, 500 grams. Um, so on this trip, this is the one regret I have, though, to be fair, it's light, warm, and easy. And that's the uh, Thermarest X Lite, uh, large, wide. I think it weighs about 450 grams, which is quite light. But I don't sleep as good as this on this one anymore as I do on Big Agnes Q Core Deluxe, which is 11 centimeters thick. This one's six centimeters thick. They've got about the same comfort, warmth, and so on. And they're about the same packing size. So not a huge difference in those two. But the Q Core is far more comfortable. Uh, and it weighs almost twice as much as the x Lite, So I think this one comes in at about 850 grams. Uh, this is the Payak Radical, I think it's the 1Z. Yeah, 1Z. This is the large wide, has a comfort temperature of about zero degrees. Really roomy, uh, really nice, and I love, in fact, I used it as a blanket. I didn't actually sit in it like a, a mummy sack. Uh, so I actually had it on me just like a quilt or a big blanket. Uh, worked brilliant. Even the night when it got down to about three degrees, uh, it was kept me nice, warm and toasty. And this one weighs about 500 grams. So it's a high quality, lightweight sleeping bag. Down 900, hand built in Poland. There's not too many bags that can compare with it as far as weight and quality and warmth go. So yeah, I mean, that was what I brought with me. Uh, maybe some of it seems like overkill, but when you're planning these kind of trips and I was looking at it, okay, I'll be up in the mountains, you know, many days will be spent at over a thousand meters above sea level. Uh, it can get down to about zero degrees. So all in all, I'm actually very happy with everything I brought with me and yeah. That's it. That's a quick gear rundown of the gear I brought with me on my Grand Canaria hike. Cheers.